Hi, friends. So there was a request for a tutorial about Firefly Pose or Titibasana. There are a few different entrances into this posture, and I'm assuming that you want the arm balance variation, not necessarily the standing ones, although there are ways to get from the standing ones into the arm balance variation. The biggest misconception I, I see about Firefly is that it's this huge hip opening posture. And obviously, there is a lot of hip opening. And when we say hip opening, that could mean a lot of things. But in this case, we generally mean abduction away from the midline. And I see everybody doing these big, splatted, wide-legged forward folds with their legs really wide. That could be really great, especially if you have tighter hips, so that you can get, end up getting the legs a little bit higher up onto the arms. However, a lot of times, we miss out on the other aspect of Firefly, which is, yes, the legs have to open to get us into position. But then the legs need to do a large portion of the work to keep us there. And they do that by actually hugging in towards the midline or adduction. So hugging back in towards the triceps or the upper arms or the elbows, wherever they tend to hit on you, which is going to be based on your natural flexibility, your anatomy, everything, right? So are the legs hugging back in towards the midline? And not just that, but so that they're not falling to the floor, are the legs actively trying to lift away from the floor? So we've got the adductors that need to be working, those inner thighs hugging back in towards the midline. And then we have the hip flexors that we kind of tend to disregard, which are helping the legs stay lifted. So if you scroll back and you look at my L-sit video, you'll see some work that, that plays into the hip flexors a little bit. And that can be helpful for something like Firefly as well, whether it's simply sitting on the floor and instead of just doing a flat, wide-legged forward fold, you think about sitting up tall, reaching forward, and then even puffing up through the back of the heart here, protraction of the shoulder blades, another really important thing for firefly pose, and lifting one leg. Can we lift one leg and pulse that foot towards the sky? How about the other leg? How about both legs? Can they squeeze in towards the midline as they do that? Protraction, pulling the navel in towards the spine. What does that look like from the side? So again, sitting up tall, but then I reach forward, protract, pull the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down. There's nothing round with, wrong with rounding through the low back if you're protecting the spine here. So pull the navel in and up. Active rounding is just fine. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Maybe you lift both legs. Maybe you hug them in. Think about pulsing them towards the sky as you protract through the shoulder blades. So things like that can be done to really find that action of hugging in and lifting up. Obviously, before you're playing with Firefly, warm up the wrists, not just stretching, but strengthening too. There's our free wrist video on my YouTube and more coming on our subscription program. Micro bend through the elbows, tricep wrap work, right? So we're not just blasting out through the elbows. Firm protraction as we push the ground away, finding the separation of the shoulder blades. You can do that in things like cat-cow, really focusing on the cat variation, scapular push-ups. All right, now, what about getting into Firefly? So obviously, we've done some hip warm-ups, maybe some malasana, maybe some wide-legged forward fold, some lizard. Maybe you've even gone through your lizard and done a little bit of work of putting on your backpack or sliding one arm underneath, but not just being here, right? Because why waste this posture? Use this time to practice this hugging in of the adductors, the inner thighs, into the tricep as the tricep pushes back into the inner thighs. Now, resist the urge to send the elbow wide, hug the elbow in as you do so, hugging everything towards the midline, claw the earth with your fingertips. This is a great place to be. You can even modify this posture to get a lift by bringing the other leg up. We call this half primal squat variation or creepy lizard sometimes. You can practice lifting just the top leg, push and protract, hug the elbows in, straighten. Oh, look, it's like a half firefly. Straighten. Or you can even hover, lift, straighten. Straighten, kind of nasty, almost as hard as regular firefly. All right, so what are my favorite two ways to get into a firefly pose? One is standing from a small wide-legged forward fold, and the other one is seated. You can use blocks. If you are coming in from a standing position, again, tendency is going to be like really wide straddle. You're like, I'm going to do the splits. I'm going to do the splits. And then you're like, how do I put my backpack on? And then elbows have to turn out, and it gets like really wonky, and ugh, we fall off. Don't make the legs so wide, right? Just wide enough that we can get the torso through. 
And don't worry about keeping them straight. You can do that part later. Instead, really big bend. Think about lengthening through the sternum so that you can pour your heart down and bring your low belly down to your thighs. Then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Move your feet a little bit wider if they need to be. Walk your shoulders back. Walk your shoulders back. Take one hand back behind you. Weave it around. Maybe do a half bind, but it's not really necessary. It's just more about taking the hand to the ankle and putting your backpack on. Do the other hand, put your backpack on. Then walk your feet a little bit closer if you can. I like my hands directly behind my feet, and I'll show this from another angle, don't worry. You can put them on blocks, but that's gonna be a bigger angle for the wrist, so it's your choice. If your hands are behind your feet, and you bend your elbows straight back, and you lower your sit bones, it's almost like you have this little shelf, and you just sit on it. You don't wanna be lazy when you sit on it, though. You have to hug your elbows towards the midline, and push your inner thighs into those elbows, elbows back from here. You can curl your heels off, you can practice one leg at a time, or both legs can hover. From there, you can straighten one leg at a time. What does this look like from the other side? <sighs> Again, slightly wide, but not too wide. Drip down between your legs, backpack, backpack. Doesn't matter if your backpack doesn't go on so much. Walk your feet slightly more towards the midline to lock in. Elbows bend straight back, turn the hands slightly out. Lower the sit bones. Hug your elbows in. Push your inner thighs into your triceps. Triceps into your thighs and also lift up your knees. So use those hip flexors. One leg, two leg, both legs. My legs are super hugging in towards the midline here though. Super hugging in and lifting up. So again, if I were to just think about widening them apart in adduction, what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna, abduction, I'm just gonna slide right off. So if I just, widen my legs, I slide right off. So yeah, you need hip opening, but then you need adduction or hugging towards the midline. What's the other way? It's my favorite way, actually, thanks for asking. And it is coming from a seat. I recognize that this does not work for everyone. Erin hates this method. Um, I think it's awesome. It is also a little bit dependent on your anatomy. Also, don't recommend wearing a sweatshirt when you do this, because it's really hard not to slide off your arms. You want stickiness of your arms, and then maybe leggings. Skin on skin can be hard too. So this is just putting your backpack on on the floor. It does require some more hip flexibility at the beginning because you don't have gravity working to drip your torso down. Instead, you're bringing your leg up, but you've already warmed this up, putting your backpack on, bringing the other leg up, balancing, putting your backpack on, protracting. You can take your fingertips down at first, hug your legs in. I'm actually hugging them in. You don't want to cross your feet here and go into shoulder press your pose because it won't be nice as you get up. But instead, curl your toes towards the midline. Hug, hug the knees in. Get ready. Rock and roll. And pop up. And for some people, it's easy as that. Some people, mm -mm, the anatomy just doesn't work there. And from there, you can play with the same things. What does that look like from the front? Leg, leg, fingers, protraction, puffing through the back of the heart. Curl, curl, curl. You could flex, point, point, doesn't matter as long as they're active. Rock, plant, push, lift, protract. Hey. Again, this is a great place to be. This is a great place to be. You can even put a block underneath your sit bones to give yourself that sensation of being in Firefly, even if you're not quite there yet. It. Oh, hey, supported firefly. This is a great place to be, hugging in towards the midline. Doom. Still really hard. Remember, it's not really important if you get these arm balances or not. It's supposed to be for fun. Yes, it can build a lot of strength and stability. Might help elsewhere in your practice. But if you're not having a good time and you're too busy worried about what that end posture looks like or whose variation is prettier, and there's a lot of variations, like straight up, legs perfectly parallel, big wide, low to the ground firefly, then try to let go of that a little bit, which I know is easier said than done. But it's also all about consistency and being safe and taking care of your body. So warm up well and also cool down. If I were just gonna do some firefly, I would now need to do some wrist work, some stretching, maybe a little strengthening, a little retraction of the shoulder blades, some slight back bends and things like that, maybe some lovely twists 
and bringing my leg back to the center. So thanks for joining me today. Again, we have our Authentic Movement subscription program launching on June 1st, which we're super excited about, AuthenticMovements.com, which will have all kinds of mini tutorials, workshops, standalone funky flows. It will have meditations, restorative, everything, even bundle packages, like things for jump through and jump back. So in the meantime, I have all of my eBooks out and on sale, casa-colibri.com, or check the link in my profile bio for more. Thank you.